If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, how can I use shyness as a strength? Answer by Katherine Kellner. Any character trait can be treated as a strength in the right context. With a little tweaking shyness can convey humility and thoughtfulness. I have a great deal of experience with clients who are shy or soft-spoken. I often find that shy people are highly perceptive and strong observers of those around them. With shy clients, especially those that are in a competitive academic arena or job market, I like to focus on understanding the skills practiced as a shy person. In my experience three strong and important skill sets demonstrated by many shy people include Creativity. It can take a lot of ingenuity to find comfortable ways to participate in public experiences that encroach on your boundaries. Empathy. When you perceive the interactions of those around you by listening more than you speak you develop a keen sensitivity for the feelings of others. Bravery. Our society is very socially demanding and holds social fluency in high regard. When you have a smaller range of public experiences that you feel comfortable with the challenges on your plate day to day can feel overwhelming. It takes a lot to face uncomfortable interactions with others every day if you perceive that others transcend these challenges with ease. Walking into any situation with those attributes under your belt isn't too shabby. Sometimes you can get by on your strengths alone, but we all encounter circumstances on a daily basis that push us out of our communicative comfort zone. If you're interested in developing a wider toolkit to navigate some of that discomfort you can explore a series of lectures my office has released here. Shy people have a lot going for them that extroverts do not. I like your question. It's useful to explore to find strengths we posses but may not be as immediately aware of. But when you explore your own strengths, and areas in which you could develop strength, you can approach your goals in a more strategic fashion. Answer by Gary K. Searle Looking at the strengths of shyness is a very healthy way to look at being a particularly shy person. It shows a certain degree of confidence and belief. Perhaps a confidence you don't know you have. This could actually be used as a strength on its own. Used in context and not to extremes modesty can be an upside of being shy. There are a number of traits related to shyness that can be used as a strength. If you as the shy person can increase your self-confidence. These include, a great strength of shyness is the ability to think before you act. You choose your words and actions wisely for the most part. Outgoing people often have a habit of acting impulsively, something I am terrible for. My impulsivity can certainly get me into trouble sometimes. A shy person quite often very good at listening. It maybe comes from not feeling comfortable talking about yourself. But that in itself can be a strength. Most people are happiest when they talk about themselves, so meeting you will be a breath of fresh air. They can take the limelight and you will be happy to give it to them. As someone who doesn't speak too much, you could very well be someone who can be trusted when people open up to you. They will feel able to talk to you without others finding out. That is something many people struggle with. Knowing who to trust, is very difficult. If you are trustworthy, you can be an incredible friend. Being trustworthy means you will develop close, meaningful friendships. You don't make friends easily, but value the ones you find and are incredibly loyal to them. When someone is going through a tough time, your trustworthiness and ability to listen among other things, means you are a calming influence during the toughest of times. That is something anyone who gets close to you will appreciate about you. I hope you find the confidence to embrace your shyness. Answer by Rebecca Knowles Shyness is regarded as a virtue in some cultures. It is equated to being more thoughtful, intelligent, a better listener, and being more likely to think before speaking. Use your shyness to your advantage by playing the role of captivating audience. Listen to others and ask thoughtful questions. Most people love to do the talking anyway. You have a silent power over the conversation by taking or giving attention to the talker as you please. Re referenced, 4 ways to overcome shyness in 14 days, Mobita. If you fail or make a mistake, allow any sense of negativity to pass on. We all make mistakes and we make them all the time. Move on. Be kind to yourself. Forgive yourself. Life does go on. Everything in our minds we have created. All thought, ideas, perspectives and filters are all our creations that help us interact with the world but we tend to believe that those ideas and perspectives are the truth when really they are just something we have come up with 